what can we expect next on HBAR? Well, this is what we're going to cover today, and to do so, we're going to go on the log scale to really understand what is and what say really the higher time frame. So let's go here on the log scale. We have to understand really what is the context. Okay, the context is really important to understand what we can expect next. I'm going to show you really everything from the more probable, the most probable scenario, and then I'm going to move on the less probable one. Okay, for people that really want to, to, to get really everything like. <clears throat> Sorry, like if we were really more down or all of this really. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna first of all start with the most probable scenario. And if we have to do something else, you are already you will be already aware of what we can expect, what targets, what pricing, everything. Okay. So anyway, here what do we have to the upside? We have five ways, right? We have we can clearly read this. We have a wave one, we have a wave two, we have a wave three, we have a wave four, we have a wave five. So if we have five ways as always, what we can expect next? We can expect to be in a wave A, B, C. OK, so ABC here zigzag, <coughs> sorry, or, a, or impulsive, so to speak here. Wave one, wave two retracement, wave three for five and being impulsive. So Chad is impulsive right here. OK, these are the two different configurations we can expect next. So these are the higher time frame waves, really. If we do have five waves here to the upside, we can expect so this wave one, two and band three or five or ABC zigzag. Why? Because wave A high fi have five waves, the wave one have five waves, the wave three have five waves and the C wave have five waves. So yeah, we can look for both patterns. The wave three can go normally a lot harder than the C. Then we'll have the wave four and the wave five. If we do only the ABC zigzag, then after the C, we just drop. There is no wave four and five. Okay, it's like A, B, C, or one, two, three, four, five. So if we do a C wave, there is no wave four, five anymore next. Okay, hope that makes sense. So these are the high time frame waves. Okay, so now uh, after this five waves, so of course, we'll have a an impulse so we have after that of course a correction that is a bear market okay and so what we can expect on this so of course i'm going to show you the most probable count we have right now on this one now i'm going to show you next after the after this a bit later after we're done with this most probable count what we can expect in case we'll have to go for example lower in that case okay so first of all this is what we can look for okay so what we have first to understand really everything first you know if you remember good i have done an update on the youtube channel I have done a live count uh, of this. I was, you know, with a possible leading here. Then in that case, it was, you know, a wave. Um, let me just hide this for a moment. It was in that case a wave. So one, two, three, four, five. So in that case, wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and then you have another one, two, three, or five. So this is a wave five. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, and what I was in that case looking, you know, for a possible bigger A, B, C zigzag. The premise, the B wave for me will be way too small and short, really. So I prefer to not take this anymore and just switch to the current, the, the, the following count, really. I'm accepting this is not a leading. This is a double E, X, Y, X, and Z. Okay, we have, I mean, we have some triple way in there, so it could be a leading with a small wave and ending. But I'm going to accept this is a double E, X, Y, X, and Z. Okay, in that case, we have a W an extra retracement and here if we have the five ways correction five ways you know we was looking for the three four five down earlier then it's just an abc zigzag and so we have the y leg completed and if we have the y leg complete here then the bottom is in and so the wave two bottom is in or the wave b the b wave bottom is in so in that case here what we have to look for next we have to look for a possible five ways reversal we do have some possible five ways i don't like them so much to be honest with you like really these are not at all the best five ways ever but the rsi is following with this it's valid on you know we have this so this wave one right here this wave bam this wave one here we have the wave one two you can see also on the rsi wave one wave two wave three highest reach on the rsi so we have the wave three here then we'll have the wave for retracement lowest here and then we'll have bam the one two three four five for a nice ending and we do this diversion so we do have this valid count on the chart okay to be aware of now i personally would not be surprised for the best probable count that this was an abc zigzag five ways correction five ways okay but yeah let's take still uh, for the moment is more probable count in that case we have this nice wave one impulsive wave to retracement and now we're going to look for this impulsive to the upside i don't like to be only bullish like this but i'm going to show you another count next that is a bit less probable but anyway so yeah in that case we'll have to look for this nice impulsive to the upside okay gonna remove the lock scale so we can really apply everything here so in that case yeah wave one wave two here okay now what do we have to start what what do we, what we need here to start this wave three impulsive here to the upside we need to get a five ways impulsive or a leading what do we have here we have a possible leading with a smaller wave again of an ending we have this possible wave one here you can see a triple wave abc zigzag five ways correction five ways okay you can clear it here is a one two three four five another correction 
another A, B, C, zigzag, another correction, and another five waves. You can see here one, two, three, four, five, correction, and another five waves here. So we do have here, again, it can be as always a double X, Y, X, and Z, but it's also a possible leading with a smaller wave of an ending. So if this is a small uh, a leading with a smaller wave of an ending, I'm going to place by the way some blue wave, then in that case, this can be absolutely here. Um, not only, of course, but it can absolutely be here, a wave 1 in that case, bam, a wave 1, a wave 2 retracement right here, and now we are starting the, bam, 3, 4, 5, maybe we're going to make another wave 1, 2 again, it depends, but yeah, we do have this possible double wave 1, 2, 1, 2 on the low, okay, um, the RSI right here, bam, 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 you can see here we have the wave 1 root, the wave 2 bottom, so the wave 2 cannot break the wave 1 root on the RSI, this is for the moment holding the line, if we start breaking this, this is not valid anymore, okay, if we start breaking uh, that low, by the way, normally it's not valid anymore, because it means that the second wave 1, 2 here, the red waves, the red waves are here, um, yeah, it's not valid anymore, as the wave 2 here breaks the wave 1 root, okay, so the, the weekly time from here is really important, we shall not break that low, and we shall not break that low on the RSI, if we do, then we're going to move to the less probable scenario, more like uh, but anyway, so this is the possible wave count we have right now on that. Okay, so if we have to push higher from here, what price we can expect? So first, of course, you have to be aware of that. This bigger uh, wave 1, wave 2. Next, in that case, we shall be in a wave 3 or 5. So if you really have to pull the extension tool for this, um, just really for the dream, really, if we have to make this, because most of the time when you're in a bull market, yes, you can do the wave 3, 4, 5, but you can just make, for example, some wave 1, 2, and another wave one two and another wave one two like this and just keep doing some wave one two one two so that's why it's not really the best to place at the, to look at this impulsive here to the upside yet we really need to see a bigger push to the upside here for, to do so but yeah let's just for the for the fun really uh, place this extension tool so we get an idea of what price we can reach really if we have really to make this impulsive here to the upside <coughs> So normally the minimum price which will reach for the wave 3 for an impulsive is normally yeah, around $1 really. Okay, so we should reach normally possibly $1. Then we should retrace 23.6 because the wave 2 was very big. Okay, so we can pull it like this from the wave to, uh, 3 top, sorry, to the wave 3 root. Okay, from here we just look at it 23.6. Oh, by the way, the opposite for the retracement tool. I reverse my tool here so it's from the top to the bottom, otherwise from the bottom to the top you did not reverse your tool. And so from here we just need to pull the third clear of the extension tool on the way for bottom at the way 5 targets. Uh, 618, 12 extension, uh, 1618 and 2618 maximum tarry. So these are all the way 5 tarries really we have to be aware of for the moment. Now if we're in a real big bull market we can absolutely go a lot higher on the way 3. So all the fibs before right here, all of these fibs right here are some way 3 targets, right? So we can absolutely go for example to $2.5. But again, this is something a bit not realistic for the moment. So I don't want to just to you, so you have an idea, okay? So at the end, yeah, we shall reach normally around, as I said, bam, let's pull the wave five targets and pull this here. So around one dollar, one dot ten, okay, minimum normally. So yeah, um, now on a smaller time frame here, if you can say that, we have to look, of course, at this five ways first of all before to look at this big impulse. It will just you know to give you an idea of the price we can reach really. But uh, yeah, here the thing is. <coughs> Sorry, if we have a, a double wave one to one to here, we can pull, of course, the extension tool for this impulsive here. Gonna show you the wave so you can really get everything here and get an idea of what we can do exactly. And you can see it, where, uh, everything really. So let's pull this from the wave one root to the wave one top to the wave to bottom. By the way, if you want to learn your waves, you can absolutely go and check out our website, moonshards.fr. You have a free course on the wave. It's You can absolutely learn for free waves. You just have to go and check this out. It's just waiting for you. So let's add the way, the way through targets here. Most common target here is a 1618. Uh, to be fair, I will not be surprised to go a bit above in this configuration because, I mean, uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is very, very, it looks very small. But anyway, let's stick to the most common targets, 1618. Then we'll have a very big wave to retracement. So we shall, in that case, retrace here 2316 again. And so here we can pull again here, the third click on the way for um, bottom here. And so, bam, we shall go to the 618 minimum, but as you can see, we'll have this bigger wave 1, 2, and the 3 cannot really finish here. Why? Because the wave 4, if we're in an impulsive, cannot break the wave on top, in a leading or in an ending yet, but not in an, in an impulsive. So in that case, what we'll have to look for here is simply bam, to pull the extension from the wave 1 root to the wave 1 top to the wave to bottom, and as you can see here, the minimum price normally we should reach into this configuration with that wave 3, is this one six one eight? So that's why here, yeah, like I said uh, we we're going to normally push a bit higher than this. So do 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 do. Let me see. Wait three. Let's go to the. Um, let's go to the twenty percent here. Pull this here. Okay, I mean, yeah, like this. Oops. 
uh, let's go 38.23 throne 6 here and we can pull it like that again it's a bit random right now but uh, it's uh, just to give you an idea okay the most important is this way 3 impulsive will have to the upside okay the, the smaller wave we really need to get the smaller wave inside here to determine where it's going to stop that one extract right for now it's just really too early to determine this so yeah this these are the waves here really okay i'm gonna just pull this a bit more on the right so let's go with 400 should be good like that uh yeah it's maybe a bit too much <laughs> let me just move this a bit more on the left <coughs> sorry perfect so wave three top in that case on the 1618 then we should retrace again 2316 because the wave two was very very big so bam we shall come back here 23.6 and we can do exactly the same pull the wave the third level extension tool on the way for bottom and add a way five turrets so normally we should reach minimum with this impulse if you're to the upside we should reach normally minimum here zero dot fifteen dollars again remember all these are the way five turrets we can do absolutely a bigger way five we can also do a bigger way three depends really what are the smaller wave is the smaller wave like this of course we're going to look for something much bigger but this is a most common impulse if to the upside for the moment we need to get it right here in the, the data here while moving up to determine more likely what's going to happen anyway so we should reach around this zero dot fifteen dollars okay minimum and next of course if we have to be in this kind of very 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 big big bullish market here we just are we are more likely or possibly going to make you know a bigger wave one to here okay a three or five it's not needed all the time we do not necessarily need to make this bigger wave one two three or five we can absolutely just rocket like this like really crazy just with some small wave and we keep doing some some stuff like that to the upside for example okay we'll just do some some crazy push-ups such as this for example okay this is something possible um but yeah let's tell it realistic for the moment and pull this here so we're not we're not too bullish like that so this is a most probable scenario at the moment okay due to the small wave the rsa is, is okay for the moment now um i'm just gonna pull this into here the minimum time frame number one now the thing is okay it, this is cool but the thing is now what if we don't do this and we go more down from here what we can expect because yes the way I'm, I'm i'm showing you that the wave to here can be in it's possible again this is a possible wave count the most probable but can we do the less probable wave count yes absolutely so can we go more down the answer is yes okay it is absolutely possible now the wave yeah these are some possible wave one two not gonna lie the, the, the waves are good for this okay do we have some valid smaller wave for the wave one two like this okay to go higher next now what if we have to take out the lows okay this now we are going to move on to the less probable scenario so if we have to do something else than the more the most probable scenario so pick this if we have for example to get an invitation for this plan and so in that case get an invitation so take the lows here if we have to take the lows what we can expect then it's the same same how time frame waves we just make one more new law in that case what is the pan here if we have a double xy here double xy first we simply take a double xy x and z so just be here a double xy okay x and z and the x wave in that case if we have to drop directly and take out the lows without getting a rise here we can look for this x wave top down as i said this can, in that case is an abc zigzag from the good i was telling you if we have to drop here and we need to take this as an abc zigzag in other five ways so in that case we take this double x y x and z to the downside now the thing is that is a bit more complex for really people that really want to to, to know everything about the waves um if we have a five ways correction and then another five ways up it can absolutely be an abc zigzag right and so in that case we have a double x y x and z like this yes we do a push up but it's not to go that high it's simply to retrace next just be aware of this scenario okay i'm going to give you the targets of all of this so you can really understand where you have to look for a short uh, where you have to look for a long if i have to go below for the day i'm going to show you this right after but yeah this is a configuration really if we have to make one more new low x wave down here if this was an abc exam so in that case if we take the lows directly the only answer we, where i mean the only uh, moment where we're going to place it this year it's if we take out the lows okay for now we remain with a bullish plan um so yeah um and if we go above here and get something very bearish for example on the order flow something i'm going to show you the target so this for example is an order flow uh, then we are we are we, we, yeah well, then we can take a show in the target but yeah I'm gonna show you the targets I just want to finish with the way so in that case if we take the lows or like like directly now and we don't do this ABC zigzag okay uh, we are simply going to look for the following targets so let me just remove that lock scale here and pull this uh, right here so if we have to take out the lows once more make the B wave or the wave to here a bit later and go a bit more down here then here are the targets these are the targets really by the way I completely forgot to add all the all the squares um let me just pull this here so i can really add everything here 
bam, this will be the next turn. Yeah, and really, for how to break this, this will, this will be the one in 23, but for now, this is not planned at all. Um, it's in case where we will have to go more down. This will be the next turret. Let me just by the way, remove this one six one eight. Uh, da, 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 bam, bam, perfect. <coughs> So yeah, if we have to go more down, where we can look for a long. So if we have to take out the lows here, okay, we can simply look for this MC extension. Really. So you, if you, if you, if it's, if you already bought that, you really don't care about that. We clean that monster here. You really look for this lower levels here. So do we have the path control at? Let me just remove, uh, replace all this uh, at zero dot zero thirty four dollars. Okay. That is a part of the MC extension, and then we have the monthly with the MC extension seventy x six. Um, so we have the yeah, monthly at zero dot zero thirty one dollars, and then we have at zero dot zero twenty nine dollars. If we start breaking this, we can still be aware of the possible swing through the power low. You know the market absolutely like to try your some stop loss and then come back up. So this is a possible. You know, it's all of us of this zone here. If you're like, okay, yeah, mate, you, you're giving this zone right here. It's like uh, uh, we can drop like thirty percent in this. Yes. So how to trade or how to buy in this you just have to go here in the youtube channel go in the video section scroll down a bit and you will get this nice video right here i wish i known that before investing in crypto you have this buy here and don't buy here D just go and watch this video here and you will exactly know how you can buy into this you can recognize really if you have or not to buy the tariffs now for traders really not investors for if you're if you're an investor and you don't care to try to catch a knife just buy directly into these tariffs that's it really do not ask yourself okay do i have to buy here just buy and that's it if you trust this coin and everything but you do as you want really now if you don't want to if you want to trade safe just go and watch at this video i just told here I wish I know that before investing in crypto. Extremely important. And for traders, what I recommend you to do the smaller, smaller, smaller wave count, and of course to use a node flow with some more and more and more levels with some footprint chart and stuff like that. But I'm not going to cover that today. But yeah, this, for example, allows you to make such decisions. For example, as I said, I am not shorting this red square. Or for example, yesterday, I the device is absolutely free. If you want to join a call, this called server. We have some nice TAs and nice stuff on this. Um, yeah, for example, I said, hey, personally, took the short here on the retest because that was not bearish first, so I took the short on the retest and we went to a long target here. This was a plan I've done yesterday for absolutely free on the public, uh, I mean, on the YouTube channel. There is no anything uh, except the apprentice section here that is for apprentice members, but otherwise, all the content here, all the alt updates, everything here is for absolutely everyone. So you can absolutely just join this cold server and enjoy. That's the only thing you have to do, really. Okay, and so you can get such plan, for example, where I'm telling you that I'm in the trade. And next year, we've got the nice long trade. As I told you this morning, I'm holding this long trade. And we are now, by the way, into here. And as I said here before, as I said here clearly, for example, I am not shorting this great square remaining in the yesterday short for now if we have to go more down. And so, yeah, we've got this very, <laughs> we did not see, we, I mean, we, we've not, we didn't got any reversal from here, as you can see. For the moment, it can share, of course. Uh, really quick because the data are printed really quick for about a 10 second chart, but for now it's not bearish yet. But anyway, let's come back on this. So, yeah, these are the targets really if we have to go more down. Okay, for a trader, just read an order flow in there. Really, this is uh, the best thing to do and to do the small wave count. These are the targets really if we have to go more down. Now, as a trader, you also have to be aware of the targets above. So, let me just remove all the waves here so you can really uh, get only the targets. Uh, I mean, only the levels here so you can really see only the nice levels so you can trade that really good. Uh, right here. So these are all the levels really you have to be aware of above us. Okay, so yes, you have this consolidation right there. You do have this consolidation to be aware of, you know, this weekly, monthly, weekly level. Um, personally, in between the three levels here, pff, this is too low. I don't care about shorting here, to be honest with you. It's really in case we have to push higher to go more down than I am planning right now. I am not doing some low time frame analysis at the moment. So if we really have to go um above i mean higher from here then what you can look for is simply here this monthly level up to the swing fully pounds we have a double top here in c so um and we have also this nice by the way this nice value area high right here uh let's go please load perfect so we have like all of this right here so i will prefer not not to start the monthly just to go a bit above here uh we have right right here all this so from the from the swing fully pounds here the tops okay so we take the highs and retrace up to the value high and if we start breaking this uh, personally, I'm not really interested into a short to be fair on the weekly. I will expect more likely a new high to be made because there is no enough confidence yet for me. <coughs> Again, we can, for example, if we do this, uh, like five ways correction, five ways here, we can, for example, retrace from here. We do have the 123 extension. If we get this, for example, this is an ABC zigzag. If that was a five ways for an ABC zigzag. But yeah, personally, this is my preferred target for a short. You can also look at it monthly. If you really have to keep these lower highs. But um, yeah, I will prefer to go and take these highs. That will be better. 
and that will be for example for a possible you know we have this kind of possible a uh, triangle forming here if we can if i can show you that right here so we have this kind of bam triangle here okay i am not at all trying this i'm trying to train a triangle for the fake outs but again you have the support here you can, you can see you have some nice some nice bounce but yeah more likely train this for the funds for some possible fake outs now i'm not saying that we are going to fake out because of the bullish plan we're expecting to push higher but uh yeah, this is something we have to be aware of now yeah if we start breaking through this target up to the earlier high and then i'm more likely looking for a new high personally as always we take a high we have to be aware of swing for the power of fail auction the best way to come into this one here to really take the overall range high and i'll be really the best of the best and if again there is nothing in this range high no swing through the pan or fail option as always swing through the pan you have a high let's say like here you have a high okay so so here you have a high let's say you do you have done this here and then you came back down you just as you can see here take this high here so you have this high right here you just take this high and you leave it just with a week you take this high just with a week now a fail option is for example you do this so you have this kind of off top um, maybe not the best example ever here. Let me just explain it here. So, for example, you have you have this, okay, and you you want to look for a swing through point, a fail option on that top. So you swing through point, just take this and retrace directly, and you leave this with a week, okay. And a fail option, you just get acceptance support. If you can say that, spend some more time, form something bearish on the order flow or with the waves, and bam, come back down, okay. So all the time when you have to take your high, when you have to take a low, I mean not all of them of course, but most of them you have to look for a swing through point, a fail option. So to speak here now, if there is no swing field power fail option of this, there are no any big levels until uh, $0.23. Now, I will be aware of this small consolidation here, okay, really, before to look for, or if we start breaking this, before to look at this directly, I will be aware of this consolidation, okay, just from the low here to the top right here, that give this consolidation. Why? Simply because the market, as you know, move from consolidation to consolidation range to range and so here um to look for a big move like this if we break here uh, for me this is not at all what i'm like, this is something possible right we can absolutely do this because there are no major resistance but i'm still aware of for example we can do a kind of fail auction above here we come into the channel for example fail uh, fail to push higher swing through the pan at top and we just come back down and bam here we go for it so this is in my opinion a, in a range here in my opinion to be aware of really far to the fail auction really above this over range range high you know if we're in the in the abc zigzag for example the big abc into the wxy x and z you know for example in the second low time frame scenario less probable but anyway this is more for 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 traders and everything but yeah if we have to get if we really have to be in the bullish plan then the next target really come around here as you can see so if we pull this medium time frame one you can see that yeah the way through for example can reject into this but if we don't get anything in there we're more likely going to go for for this here so to speak around 0 0.23 uh, right here directly okay this will be the next big target really you have to be aware of if we start breaking this right here um be aware of the swing through pan here with the weekly and if there is nothing here again, we can look for the swing through pan above. And next, we'll have a bigger target around the monthly here. So to speak, uh, here, uh, swing through pan is uh, $0.34. And if we have to break this, then we'll have the value behind the monthly around $0.40. $0 $0.39, $0 $0.40. Okay. Um, so yeah, these are really all the targets really you have to be aware of. So there, there are a lot at the moment. Let me just remove these waves. Um, but yeah, this is how you can trade that really and really, really, really crash your chart. Okay, if you're really an impulsive, you can see that we, we yes, we can retrace from here. And for example, you know, do the five way like that. This is something possible. If we don't, if we don't manage to break this, we're going to stay, you know, into this consolidation, for example, and ret retrace from this consolidation. And from here, you know, make a bigger wave one, bam, two and three or five, for example. And then we're going to break out and not directly. That's why yeah. I will be aware of this consolidation here because also it matched with the wave here. Um, but yeah, so this is a plan really. Uh, what we can look for at the moment on uh, H bar. Uh, these are the more likely waves and the less probable wave. You have to go more down. Okay, so you know everything. You know the most probable targets. You know where you have to look for a trade. You know exactly what to expect next. If you have to push hard, if you have to go more down, you know exactly where you have to look for a buy. You know exactly what wave you have to take. If you have to go more down, you know exactly what take what wave you have to take. If we go above, so this is absolutely perfect. And you have the most probable scenario. So if it's more probable, it's more likely going to play out now. It's not because it's more probable that it's hundred percent sure that we're going to do it. We can absolutely get something less probable and get a continuation low. That's why we planned. So we are already ready and prepared for that because as an investor or trader, we have to be ready and prepared for the opposite um, direction we are expecting. Okay, so we're not like, okay, we're living the time. I have to update this. No, you don't have time to update that living the time. You have to do it before. But anyway, that was a bit of a long update, but in my opinion, important because yeah, I have to explain everything. 
and also teach you a bit of other waves. But yeah, as always, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like, subscribe to the channel, to turn notifications. And on this being said, I wish you a brilliant day and catch you in the next one. Cheers.